Welcome into Mountain Dog Companion, hanging out with Sharon's litter today. Today we're going to be talking about the progression of the puppies. Uh, we're going to talk about sound therapy and we're also going to talk about the differences in a puppy race on our program. Okay guys, so these pups are about three weeks old um, out of Sharon's bunch and they're doing great. Um, we just completed the ENS program, I guess, Andy, you can kind of talk about that, um, what that consists of now moving forward. So they are, um, like you said, three weeks old tomorrow. They have finished their ENS, uh, their early neurological stimulation, um, and also they have uh, completed their 16 days, actually it's, it's um, 15, no, there's 16 days in here, but we don't start till day three. Mm -hmm. So, um, scent program, so they've smelled soil, cinnamon, coconut, uh, chamomile, cloves, waking up that uh, olfactory system there, and puppy's eyes are all open. We're starting to see movement. They're starting to waddle around and use their legs and gain strength. Uh, something that's really interesting at week three is mama will begin to start to stand to feed. Mm -hmm. So it builds uh, leg rear strength. Um, I find it very interesting that uh, unless you raise puppies, they are born, their back legs are like a seal. They just kind of are oh, loose and limp just, back yeah. behind. And all the strength is at the front of the body. So gaining that rear strength uh, is really important and it's very natural how mom weans to gain that. So we just watch them at this stage because with Bernese, you know, that are taller and pups only yay big, as mom starts to see them, we wanna make sure everybody is still getting all the nourishment. Um, that's why we still weigh, weigh them. At three weeks, we start weighing them once a week. Mm -hmm. um, it's not, you can feel by. For you, sure. But you can feel Absolutely. they're very healthy and very strong, so. Yeah, what yeah. Is, what's the average weight right now at this age? So these guys at about three weeks are probably between two and three pounds. Okay. Somewhere in there. You'll find a little bit variance between your upper uh, pups in the litter and then you always have a few that are a little bit on the lower side. Um, and we, at this point within the week, we usually see, I like to see between six ounces and a pound. Um, sometimes I get a little bit more. Uh, they will start with uh, their soaked kibble. For sure. Um, so we soak that kibble and then we mush it down. So it's uh, like a puppy mush, but I don't like to make it the consistency of mashed potatoes because it's a absolute mess. <laughs> and we add goat milk formula to it. So making sure that they're getting a little more um, like vitamins and minerals in there that's formulated for their stomachs. <clears throat> Absolutely. We will also start uh, sound therapy. So that will start tomorrow, because it'll be three weeks tomorrow. And that is included with, we use uh, YouTube and we use uh, Spotify. They listen to fireworks, they listen to um, fire, fireworks, they listen to thunderstorms, they listen to washer and dryers, sweepers. We use real sweepers as well. Um, but all of those sounds are being introduced at this point because this is when their fear, fear stage has not started. By week four, that will start. And when we play the sounds initially, you might see a little shivering, which we'll do that here in a minute, um, and shaking, which is the ears might um, flinch a little bit. That's just their reaction to stress. And what we wanna do is expose them to that, but then also allow them to neutralize themselves with their litter mates. For so, sure. And uh, we have them separated, so these are the boys over here, and these are the females over here. Works out well when they're an even number, right? Exactly. <laughs> so this is how it works. Let's just play it and see how they act. This is going to be uh, thunderstorms. And it's... Ah. <laughs> some will have no reaction, and some will start to move. There we go. Yeah, <laughs> we need a bigger bed. It plays for, generally I play it for about five minutes, so we won't play it that long, uh, about three times a day. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I often have people ask, I need to, let me grab another one that's a little stronger, this one's softer. Um, if 
We continue to play them while they're with us, and we do. I try to play some sort of sound, slamming doors uh, throughout their whole time with us, all the way through eight weeks. And I thought I had on here is my defender. This one's a little more stronger. I guess they're not going to react today. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I wanted to capture it. It's so, so interesting. Let's find the fireworks. Fireworks. This one. This you should get. Go a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. There's a mirror that's starting to move a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, this is great. So through this process, it's not just looking for reactions. Like I, I like to watch for that, but it's not just looking for reactions, it's imprinting the pup. So for it's sure. really on exposures. What do we expose them to while they're with us? And um, and then we look for reactions just because that is what, what we're doing, Thank right? You. Otherwise we're just laying here watching puppies. And this, these are actually called calming beds. Okay. <laughs> so in a normal, yeah. when I would be normally uh, introducing this, I would have them on a flat surface. For sure. Um, because there's something about the way these are made, they're supposed to keep them cradled and warm and they look rather cozy. Yeah, what would you say is the biggest difference between a puppy raised in this environment compared to someone who doesn't do this program? So the biggest difference to me is their uh, resiliency. So we raise our puppies to be empowered, um, to experience, you know, like trains or loud traffic, you know, things. Mm -hmm. So even though that may not be part of our sound therapy here at three weeks, when they go to any of those environments, they yeah. tend to be less stressed. Exactly. So a less stressed yeah. dog means um, more discipline, more uh, obedience in that area when they're when they're trained. Uh -huh. um, they're just really. This is a service dog and therapy dog program, so we find it. I find it very valuable to implement that into the to the companion world. So guys, this is again Sharon's litter. They're one day away from being um, three weeks mm -hmm. old. Right. And doing great with everything so if you guys have any questions about the program or any questions regarding availability of these guys um, and girls of course uh, feel free to reach out to us um, i'll have my contact information down below but thanks again andy for being sure. here and, uh, i guess having us learn a little bit more about your program each and every week and really looking forward to continuing it so thanks again guys we'll see you next time